Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have discussed how to work with Hadoop Big Data. The example of previous video, we demonstrate how to write a C++ program to read a Hadoop HDFS files. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to write a C++ program to upload a file to Hadoop FS. Here on the Linux, and uh, there's two ways to upload a local file to the Hadoop HDFS. First one, we just create a program called Hadoop upload.cpp. We are going to do it, demonstrate in this uh, example which is open a local file for reading and open, open a Hadoop HDFS file for the writing. So the program usage is the program name, local file for reading and the Hadoop file for the writing. So first uh, we, after we, you know, we verified argument, if not three, we just uh, return to the one which is exit with error and the first we open the variable called the read byte and we declare the buffer which is 1024 and we memory set this buffer and with a slash zero. So first of all we as we demonstrated in preview video we use an HDFS connect the local host 9000 which is a Hadoop which is our Hadoop, which is the local host, part number 9000, which is active right now. And so we, this created the FS, which is Hadoop FFS. And after we success, we open the file, which is HDFS open file, and this file is uh, is uh, the Hadoop FS which we connected, and the argument two which is the Hadoop file pass, we are open for write only, and all create means if not exist then we create, and if this is success, and we use an HDFS connect, this is now and zero. This means we create a file system called a local file system, so we name it LFS. And then we open the file, we still use HDFS open file, the local file system, the argument one, which is the local file, this file we open for read only. So after that, we just make a loop. First we read, it's HDF read local file, and this is read file, and into the buffer, and the maximum size is buffer size, and the read byte is the real byte we read from HDFS read. So if this read byte is greater than zero, it means a success, and that means success. So we are using the HDFS write to the Hadoop FS and the write file, which is the buffer, the size is the read byte, which is the we read how many bytes we write into the write files. So after that, we just flash our write file on the Hadoop FS, and if a success, then we reset the memory, and we read from local again into the byte, and make a loop till finish of reading the files. Of that, we just uh, close the file, local file, flash the Hadoop file system, and uh, close the Hadoop file, disconnect the local file, disconnect the Hadoop files. So this is a typical simple uh, program. We just save this, we make compiling this, Hadoop upload. Okay. So this is the binary we generated. So before we upload, we check our Hadoop file system with HDFS, DFS. 
So you see currently my Hadoop file system, we only have one file called my test. On the local, we have a file called sample.txt. So we try to cut this. So this is our local file and, uh, and we use our program executable. This is a local file and we are going to upload to the same directory. We call the same file sample.txt. So now we finished. Let's check again. You can see now we have two files on our Hadoop system and the second file called sample.txt. So now we try to we try to cut this uh, Hadoop file to see what's inside this. You can see this file is exactly same as what we load in the local files. This is the one way we upload the local file to the Hadoop file systems. There's another way we can do, and uh, let's uh, first delete this from Hadoop. So you can see now we delete this. So now we try to create another program called uh, Hadoop copy.cpp. In this program, we using the HDFS library and using another function called the HDFS copy. This function, which is uh, copy files from one file system to another one. So this function need four parameters. So this first parameter, which is HDFS, which is source file system, which we are going to use in this example, this local file system and the string of src is the source file name so the second third parameter is a second file system which is the hadoop file system and the name of hadoop file system so like a copy from one file system and one file name to another file system and another file name so same thing this is the program we are going to do is to program name usage is the local file and the Hadoop file path. So first one, we still use HDFS connect, which is the local host 9000, which is our code Hadoop FS. We name this FS. So if success, we use the HDFS connect now zero, which is a local file system and we call the LFS. So if this is a both open connected success, we just use a Hadoop HDFS copy and the local file system argument one, which is the local file name, and the Hadoop file system, which is uh, argument two, which is Hadoop file pass. And this uh, function return if zero is success, if minus one which is an error. So here's uh, if it returns zero and success. Minus one is the error. So if not zero, it is error, otherwise, and success. And then we just uh, disconnect local file system, disconnect Hadoop file systems. So save this, we compile this, so make Hadoop copy, so now, so now we got our executable. Before we run our program, we use an HDF, DFIRS, this user date. You can see currently on our Hadoop, we only have one file, which we did from last preview video, called my test.date. So now we try to use our copy and the local file name, and we copy to the Hadoop, and we call the same name, sample.txt. So, and the success, now we can see using the Hadoop RFS, RS, we can see now we have loaded another file, second file called the sample.txt. So if we cut this from local, we can see this is from local. If we cut this from the Hadoop, you can see this is the same as we are local, it means our local has successfully been copied to the Hadoop. So this is two ways.
to upload a local file to the Hadoop. Hello, this is uh, Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.